definitely a different beast. Uh, it's been sort of the character that he is hardcore maining. And let's see how things go. The big thing about Falcon v. Rob, actually knee. Like, it seems that Falcon can lead into knee against Rob really, really easily. Or at least very consistently. And if Rob is losing early stocks, like if Rob gets hit at like 90 and ends up dying, that's one of the central parts of his game plan, honestly. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing Falcon things. This is a character who doesn't really show up in the meta that much. Oh, he went for the knee. That would have killed, I think. I, I, I know he's only at 38, but I would not be surprised if a knee that deep in the blast zone would have actually killed him. At the very least, it might instill some fear in, Ga in, uh, in Charles. Also, to talk about Charles, he is one of the uh, the young generation that's really been on the come up. I believe he and uh, Quid are brothers. And the two of them, despite being so young, have really good wins under their respective belts and just have been placing extremely well here in the Westchester scene at all for To the point where if Gatsby could take this, it would be a huge upset for him. Oh, I actually love that Falcon kick. And another up B catching him jumping away. I like that because on the one hand, it ca it, it's, you know, if an opponent is just holding shield, it is a command grab. And then also, I think I'm running for you up though. <gasps> Oh, I don't know if he wanted to drop off the legend. He accidentally grabbed it. But Charles cleaning up the stock soon thereafter. Gyro coming down. Gyro coming down. Okay, there he is. By the way, I love round one. It's not good fighting game music, though. All right, we see Gatsby kind of fishing for these up airs in particular. I think that an up air against Rob, yeah, mm, probably going to be really big damage. Yeah, one, one of the problems with Falcon in this game, his dash stance, something that is so integral to the character. You know, he is a, he's a racer, it's all about his speed. Uh, but his dash stance leaves him so exposed, he sticks his leg out behind him and he just gets hit by all of these moves. I've seen all sorts of Twitter compilations of the moves that Falcon gets hit by when he's actually trying to dash away. Oh, again with that up B. Oh, I kind of like the idea with that wall jump, but keep in mind, it put him in a really dangerous position. Oh, okay. yeah, so Rob, while he's for, he should be. <gasps> wow, oh God, I don't even know what's happening. He's dead. Charles being taken out. He's now on his last stock right here, but this should clean it up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe, I think he was dead, even if he got that. Okay, here we go. One stock up piece. Gatsby so far has been playing so, so, so well. We actually might see a counter pick uh, for character from Charles, regardless of whether he wins this game or not. I could definitely see that. All right, now this is a situation similar to what we've seen pretty much the entire set. An early percent lead for uh, Charles, but I want to keep in mind that in general, Gatsby's been doing a great job surviving and ooh, then capitalizes off on that, sur that s survival and has been taking the first stop. Almost, I think every time he's always been a stock ahead. Let's see if that'll be the case again. Oh, he goes for that knee and it doesn't quite hit. This might be it. Oh, he goes for another one once again, whiffing. Oh, that neutral air from Rob. So big. Oh, yeah. He's just picking these really smart options. Oh, I don't know about that though, but. Oh. That neutral B from Rob. Oh, the high recovery was just brilliant. Now Charles, he can take this game, and that's gonna be it. Up throw, yeah, it should, that should do it. But an extremely, extremely close game. You saw that there were quite a few situations where if a knee had connected, if he had gone off stage, it would have uh, and gotten the hit. It would have been game for uh, 
Gatsby, but the way things have planned out, Charles is now one game ahead here, and... He's, okay, yeah, so he is sticking with the Rob. And I honestly was really liking the... Uh, you know what it was? It was almost Melee-esque. How he would uh, go for these options that... Like that high recovery and the down B before. That it really is designed to just get him away from one specific option. But it that was the option that Charles happened to pick. You can, Falcon in general is the sort of... Like, you know, there's that, um, you know, they talk about the mind, the body, and the spirit. Oh, my God. <gasps> That's huge. All right. And to explain why that works so well, oftentimes when somebody gets hit by the jab reset, they are going to be DIing in expecting the hit, which means they actually buffer a roll. So I believe Rob forward smash would not connect out of a jab reset. However, because he ended up rolling in, it was enough for Charles to read that and kill him and, as a result, take a huge lead in game two. Oh, God, the air dodge read, but misplaced himself just barely. We're seeing some more item play from Charles. That's kind of was lacking in the first game. He would throw out the gyro and just kind of let it can, you know, occupy some space. Wouldn't really be grab it that much. Wow. Okay. Okay, in general, when you have an opponent's item and you don't know what to do with it, probably just throwing it upwards. Like, smash throwing it upwards is the best call because it takes it out of the game for the longest period of time. All right, great conversion from Charles. He's now two stocks to one. This is going to be really rough for Gatsby, but we've seen how clutch he is but he's never been down by this much. Probably gonna need like a really big read in order to bring this back into his favor. Granted, Falcon, he has the tools where if you get reads, he will absolutely, he, he just does a lot with them. Oh, but he's getting hungry. You see him going for these grabs quite frequently. Oh, I love that recovery from Charles. <gasps> But I love the edge guard more, and all of a sudden, Gatsby is still in this. That big play I was talking about, he finds it. <laughs> and deals 36% almost immediately. These two are neck and neck once again. Oh, that should be it. Oh, God. I all right. Yep. Oh, he's still alive. 129%. I, he might be able to survive this, but no, that's going to do it. Gatsby putting on a really good show for the audience here. But Charles living up to his seating. He is.